Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is a Gran Turismo Sport and this is Daily Race B from the Nürburgring GP in the Group 4 cars. Now I opted for the Evo as that was the car of choice for qualifying so I decided to use it in the race. Now as you can see from my time in pole position I did a 203.589 which for me is rapid. Uh, I put a lot of time into practice which I'm going to show you now. Um, because I was using a certain basic Ollie's hot lap. So let's get straight into the qualifying and I will show you how I did. Okay, so as we get this qualifying underway, I have uh, I set Ollie's uh, lap to be about 0.2 of a second in front of me, uh, just to give me something to chase from the second that we cross the line. Uh, because I always seem to do better if I am chasing someone. If I'm, if I'm in front and I've got cars behind me, I absolutely I crumble every single time. Whereas if I'm following someone, I seem to I seem to do really better. Um, so as you can see from the times that on the right, when I started recording this, I set a PB first lap, and I was like, right, okay, I've got a feeling I can go faster than that. Um, so as we get halfway through this lap, I've been about 0.2 of a second behind my PB time already. Um, so it's going to take something either seriously crazy um, and fluky to get a new PB or I'm going to have to literally drive out of my skin. Um, so as you can see now I'm point three behind. Um, at this point I'm thinking a PB lap is well and truly out of the window. This is just going to be another dead lap um, and I'll try again on the next one. And so as we come through with the S's here, nice and flat, all the way up underneath the bridge, and you're going to break halfway in that concrete on the right hand side there between the 100 and the double cones. Try and carry as much speed as you can through here, a slight dab of brakes. This corner I could never get right. Um, I'd go through here sometimes, like now, I've got it absolutely, well, I, I thought I got it spot on. I gained a lot of time on my PB. But sometimes I'd go through there and I'd just be losing so much time but it genuinely didn't feel like as if I'd done anything wrong. And as we come through the last chicane, which is an absolute pig, we're still 0.248 of a second as we come through the exit there. Now I must have really nosed my exit up on the PB because as we come over the line, we're now going to set a new PB, which is 203.589, which I couldn't quite believe. From the start of the lap, I was well far down, so I think if I could have got all of that right, I probably could have done about a very, a very quick 2.03. Um, but as we jump into the race, um, I was expecting that, that time to put me on pole position. Um, it was uh, very quick for me. I put a lot of time into that. I probably sat there for about a good hour, an hour and a half, just going round and round and round, chasing basic Holly's hot lap. So the as soon as the uh, as soon as the, it went go, I missed the gear and just bounced it off the rev limiter. So from the off, I am now having to defend, uh, which is not ideal. Now the guy behind me was only very maybe two tenths uh, behind me, so very quick driver as well. So this is not going to be an easy race for me. Um, I was go I was worrying for about this guy from the second that the race started. Um, so as we come into the braking zone here, very, uh, very unsure, like I said previously, when I'm the lead car, I, I don't, for some reason I just struggle big time, I, the pressure gets to me and I just fluff it up, whereas if I was to let that guy go, I could stay with him the whole four laps and it wouldn't be an issue. Um, so, I'm just... I want to break that slipstream gap, so it's at half a second at the moment, so, so far so good. Um, not having to worry, I think he's too far back really to throw a move uh, up the inside of me, which is, which is a good sign. Um, and I think we are breaking clear of P3, so I think this is just going to be a battle between me and him for P1 and P2. Um, now as we get over halfway into the first lap, and there's been no real mistakes, it's been a pretty faultless lap so far. The beginning was a little shaky, but I seem to have settled down now, uh, finding my room, maintaining the gap at about 0.5 of a second. Now this is where we're going to struggle. 
and the slipstream is going to come into effect. So a very long straight, um, and he has been in the slip from the minute we exited that corner. So I'm dry, trying to go defensive, and then I move back over last minute to get the racing line. Uh, we take as much of that curb as physically possible without the penalty system giving us a little slap on the wrist or being normal. Um, now, the, he gets a very good drive coming out of that last bend onto the straight, so now we're, we're going to have to worry about the slip again. Because I can't quite break that slipstream to pull away from him. So again, I'm going defensive, and then I should pull over to the left to try and get the breaking point. Nope, stay defensive. Um, I'm trying to hug that inside line. He gave me a little tap there, but that's not to worry about. It, it happens. I'm quite, quite happy with that one. Um, as now the gap is just two or three tenths now. So we're going to have to really defend for my life here. As this section here for me is... I, I absolutely despise this track. Let me put this out here. We did this race um, in a league that I mean, it was the first round of the current championship and I absolutely despise it. I find it very very technical. Every bend throws up a challenge um, and, I, and I just could not get the hang of it. That's why I had to put so much time into my qualifying time because if I just went into it blind with maybe three or four laps practice I'd, I, would do it, I was doing like 205-206s before I really put some effort into it. So um, it's actually done me a favour now because now I actually know the track pretty well. Um, and I'm fairly confident here now, so practice does make perfect, I do believe. Now, while I was rambling, we seemed to have pulled a big enough gap to get out of the slipstream. We're at 0.8 of a second, so if we can maintain this and get onto the straight, we're going to pull away from him. He ain't going to be able to catch us. So what is the gap now? 0.9 of a second. So, this is happy days. This is, this is, this is what we want to see. This, this is perfect. Surely the race is mine now. I just have to maintain that gap and just keep being consistent, keep putting in the laps, keep nailing every corner, every exit. We get through the chicane, no problem. We're now up to a second of a gap. Perfect. Right, let's finish lap two. And let's see what the gap is. So we're maintaining that second. We're pulling away. Perfect. Don't have to worry about defending. I can just stay on the racing line. Now my breaking points hit the apex power out and we should be good for a victory that would be pole position quickest lap and a victory what more could a driver want eh? i don't know i really don't know i think this that's the perfect perfect clean sweep but we've got to keep a call cool. we've lost half a tenth here about uh, half a second here somehow going through that first corner um the pressure must have been getting to me because he is uh, he's now within slip range, which is not what I wanted to see with a lap and a half to go. And so I'm really having to now focus again and concentrate. Um, I've, maybe I got a little bit too uh, too complacent there with my one second gap, and uh, I've now nosed it up, and now we are we're in trouble. As he looks for a move on the inside, I defend it nicely, I hold my line, um, and he can't get past me. And he got a lot better of an exit through that corner of me, but unfortunately for him, my car was in the way and he couldn't get the move done. So now as we go through the S's, we're flat through here, flat through the right-hander. He's on our towels. This is not good, is it, chat? Um, we cut. For some reason, I thought I was streaming, and then I've called you all chat. We well, will be called chat. Um, as we come now onto the big right sweeping hander into the long straight, um, this is... This is dangerous territory for me. He is easily, easily within a slip wrench. I defend it nicely, it gives us a little flash. Maybe he wasn't too happy with that uh, bit of defending for me, but it is what it is. We cut the corner nicely. He's still, we just can't shake him. We literally cannot shake him as, oh, he forces his nose through there, which is, I mean, it's a very, very, strong move but it's, it's fine it is what it is he grabs himself a penalty though for cutting the chicane now all i've got to do is stay within half a second and we should be good for the victory as we go through the penalty line it will slow down i should then take the lead 
um, and then it's a case of just again staying composed uh, but as you saw earlier I was up, I was up a second and I blew it um, so composure is something that I don't have in my armory unfortunately so the penalty line is coming up just a few more bends and we should be there we should be back in the first place um, as we try our best to just stay as physically close to him as possible I literally want to open his boot lid get in his boot that's how close I want to be to him so penalty line coming up uh, we're about 0.4 of a second behind him so we should be good to take uh, take the lead as oof, I was glad he didn't unghost there otherwise that would have been a little bit hairy going around the outside there so it is final lap it's half a lap left that was the gap between us is 0.2 of a second, which is not... I thought after he serves his penalty, there would be more of a gap than that. Which I'm slot... I sort of... I didn't really stay it. I didn't get in his boot like I said I wanted to. But, from this point on, I don't really think there's many... Obviously, you can overtake going into the, into the chicane, but I'm going to defend that, obviously. I'm going to stay nice and tight on the inside. So he shouldn't be able to get past. So as we come up to the final chicane, I stay left, I defend it, and then I move over right to get the racing line, and he overshoots his braking point and just absolutely cuts the corner. At this point, I'm thinking, right, well, I've just got to stay behind him, and once he gets his second penalty, I'll take the, I'll take the victory. But the game does me absolutely dirty. He doesn't give the place back. He does a bunny up to show off, to gloat, so let's take a look back at this. So as we come up to the last chicane, he goes right, I go right, and then he done me. To be fair, he showed me he showed me one way, but he cuts the corner massively. Doesn't slow down to give it back because he knows he's cut the corner. He does know it because in the chat he put he wrote "oops" after. So that's a crazy piece of uh, unsportsmanship racing. So this video editor, all the uh, the amazingness that I'd got such a quick. Uh, qualifying time I thought I was going for the clean sweep on the race fastest lap victory pole position and then right at the last second um, the game does me dirty and doesn't give him a, a penalty for cutting a chicane but it is what it is but thanks for watching thanks for tuning in I hope you enjoyed this video if you're new here please do subscribe uh, stick around and I'll catch you all in the next one